Hey guys, it's Tez. I'm back today with a more serious video where I'm just gonna be talking throughout the entire video about something that I think is really important. And if you're one of those people who doesn't like the kind of videos where I raise like important issues and do more serious stuff, you can stop watching now. But I urge you to stay with me because this is really important. What I'm going to be talking about today is commenting on other people's appearance and mainly focusing on commenting negatively on other people's parents. And this is kind of a requested video because a lot of you have been asking me to do something similar to this. A lot of you have shared like your experience as being alternative or being bullied because of how you look and things like that. So I thought it was really important to talk about that. And I'm going to be using an example from today, actually, from my life. So as we live in a society where we're constantly logged on or hooked up or on the internet and all kinds of social media, it means that we're more vulnerable because the assholes have a whole new spectra of scenes to be assholes on. A lot of the time, these people don't realize that they're being assholes. And this is not just for on the internet, by the way, this like reflects onto real life as well. I do have an experience that I'm gonna come back to from real life too as an example. So I get a lot of comments about my appearance in real life and here and on Instagram and on Facebook. It's mostly positive, it is, and positive comments are most of the time just great. And I'm okay with people saying nice things about my appearance. That's that's fine, but not everybody's okay with that. Like, not everybody wants to be judged, constantly judged on the way they look. And I don't want to be constantly judged on the way that I look. As long as you're not being rude, that's okay for me. But not everybody's like that. So, you know, to each their own. And being offended by something, the person who said something to the other person d does not have the privilege to decide if it was offensive or not. That's up to the person who received the comment, okay? If you are offended by something, then you're offended. Nobody else can tell you that that wasn't offensive because what is and what isn't offensive is extremely individual, okay? So we've talked about this before and I've touched on this subject in uh, several different videos that I am a grown woman, I am 33 years old, and this is not a face. Like, this is what I look like. I have tattoos all over, I have piercings, I have this makeup, the hair, blah, blah, all that stuff because I like it. This is who I am and I've been this way for my entire adult life and I'm not gonna stop because it's not the face. And I'm not gonna stop because there are some people who don't like it because guess what? Individuality, fuck words, okay? I don't get why it's so difficult to understand that people like different things. Just like I prefer horror movies and somebody else might prefer comedies or I'm not a big fan of watching soccer, but somebody else might be and we can still be friends Like one of my best friends at work is a huge soccer fan and I'm really not interested in soccer at all But we still have stuff to talk about and we still bond and I'm not harassing him because he likes soccer And he's not harassing me because I don't because we're fucking grown-ups like people like different things deal with it Okay, that's like the number one rule of humanity is diversity. You have to allow for people to be themselves but somewhere like in this general acceptance of being a fellow human being some people get lost and they have trouble thinking i think that's the main reason and they have trouble accepting people who don't look or act the way that they think they should and it's so <laughs> stupid like a person who doesn't know me at all has never met me that's seen me on YouTube or has like passed me on the street, they know nothing about me. They know nothing about who I am, what I do, why I look like this, or anything like that. All they know is that I've chosen to look like this, probably because I like it. Why would anyone look the way they look if it wasn't for the fact that they like it? Unless it's stuff that you can't control, like, oh, I think my nose is too big, you know, stuff like that. But when it comes to these things, like stuff that I have had done to my body because I wanted to do that to my appearance, because I wanted to change my appearance because that's who I am, that's what I like, these things we choose to do because we like them. That's very simple and very basic. But these people don't understand that. So I'm gonna tell you a fresh example 
from today. A couple years back, I recorded a video called Get Ready With Me For Pride, and pride is an important thing for me. I myself am bisexual, and it just comes down to a matter of equal rights for everyone. Sexuality is individual, again, so it's nobody's fucking business. So celebrating pride is important for me, and I made that video because I wanted to make like a fun, colorful, happy, loving makeup look. And that video has received so much fucking hate over the years. Oh my god, people get so mad at me for looking like that. How dare you have pink hair? How dare you have pink dreads? What are those things? What is wrong with you? Why do you do your makeup like that? It's not beautiful. It's ugly. Women aren't supposed to look like that. Blah, 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 blah. Here's a fresh example. Two months ago, a guy posted, Ew! as a comment to that video, and I said, Oh, grow up, as a response. And then today, another guy commented, Literally, ew, you look like, fuck it, I have no idea, just ew is right. And that pissed me off, because not that he doesn't like the way that I look, because honestly, I don't give a fuck. I don't know who this person is. Why would I care? So then I said, No, it's not right to be an asshole to somebody because you personally don't agree with their appearance. You don't have to like everyone you meet, but you have an obligation as a fellow human being to respect everyone's right to be an individual. This is a video about celebrating LGBTQ rights. So why even watch it if diversity isn't your thing? Jeez. That was my response. His re reply was, Your appearance. You look disgusting. I definitely don't agree with looking like some kind of witch or demon. What the hell was wrong with your natural self? I bet you were pretty, but you ruined yourself. I hate it when people do this to themselves. Like, a little makeup is fine. Two small earrings is fine. <laughs> But all them nasty tattoos, piercings everywhere, that is just nasty. You push makeup to the next level. Thanks! It looks awful. Women should not cut their hair. What? People shouldn't dye their hair crazy. It's pathetic. Men should have a nice cut, not some crazy shit. People like you have no sense of decency. It's not style, it's pathetic. I mean, <laughs> this guy is like, ooh, seriously crazy and so delusional. And it's not just bad-mouthing me, it's talking about other guys, too. Is And the whole women shouldn't cut their hair? What the fuck is up with that? I should just let it grow forever and never cut it? Is that it? These kinds of comments, this guy is obviously an asshole and I blocked his ass after this because there's no getting through to somebody like that. I laugh at this because to me, none of these things, I know that none of these things are true. This guy is just some crazy asshole trying to like be a troll and it doesn't bother me as a person that he doesn't appreciate my appearance. I couldn't give a fuck about that. I love the way that I look and that's all that I need. But what makes me angry about these comments is that not everybody deals with these kind of comments the way that I do. Not everybody's able to say, I still love me and that's fine and not everybody is able to brush things off like that because it's a pretty harsh thing to say to somebody especially if it's somebody who doesn't have a great self-esteem or who's maybe a little bit unsure or who's, who's just testing things out all kinds of reasons why it's not okay to talk to people like that it's not okay in real life and it's not okay on the internet sure i can handle myself and i'm not offended at all but some of my followers I've probably seen these comments and they're taking offense. This has happened a lot of times before and you guys have stepped in and been like, don't talk about this that way and that's really sweet but I know that it's offending you more than it's offending me and I hate that. I want Tasmania to be a safe zone. Like I know I can't control what kind of ass will stumble up in here and make stupid comments but it really hurts me when I know that somebody's writing something that you guys are offended by. These people are insane, okay? Diversity is the most beautiful thing that humanity has and I know a lot of people have problems with other people's appearance. I'm often annoyed when I hear people talk. Sadly, a lot of the time it's women talking to other women about the, the appearance of other women. Looking in these magazines going, oh look how much weight she put on, oh she looked horrible in that dress, oh my god she's wearing so much makeup, la 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 la, just bad mouthing other w women for the way that they look. And this is not a healthy way of life, people, let me tell you, because if you start judging people solely by their looks, 
you're gonna end up a really empty vessel. There's not gonna be much humanity left in you. Because, yes, it's fun to play with your appearance. I love it. I, I spend a lot of time and money on my looks. I do. But they're for me. They're not for anyone else. The fact that people don't get that, that they still get upset and have to talk about these things. Arr. I see people sometimes that I maybe don't agree with their appearance, but I would never tell them that. It's so mean and rude and unnecessary. It gives that person nothing. Unless it's a friend of mine who comes up to me and asks me, actually asks me, what do you think of this or that? And then I'll give them my honest response, but I will be nice about it, fuck. And I will make sure to emphasize that it's an opinion. I would probably say something like, well for me, la 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 la, so that it's not a general opinion. My opinion doesn't represent the entire planet. It doesn't, because it never, ever, ever does. You don't get to speak for other people, they speak for themselves. So one person's individual mindset is not a fact. It's not something that's true. So you decide if you're beautiful or not. You decide if you're happy with what you look like. Nobody else does. So the other example that I wanted to give you was one from real life, and that was the summer when me, Mr. Tess, and some friends went to a concert. And this guy... I can't remember everything he said because honestly I didn't really pay that much attention. I think he started off by paying me a compliment, like saying you look beautiful, but he didn't like my eyebrows. He said you should make your eyebrows like longer, fuller, they're too tiny. You know, I had those like when I do the short brows, which I really fucking love. I'm not gonna start doing that because some asshole in the bathroom doesn't like it. Like, I don't give a fuck. I like it. So yeah, he just felt the need to walk up to a complete stranger and tell them that he personally did not approve of their eyebrows. It's like, go fuck yourself and have a good day now. Seriously, being a bully and commenting negatively on somebody's appearance can be fucking devastating for some people. Say somebody is new to YouTube and they have had long hair and they've cut their hair off and they get like these mean messages of people saying oh you look like a guy I get those all the time by the way like there's something something wrong with looking like a guy or they'll get comments like oh you looked so much better before I prefer you with the with the other hair blah 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 and it's like I wasn't asking about your fucking opinion. Now some people will say that because I am on YouTube because I'm putting myself out there that I have to expect mean comments because that's just how it is and like if you didn't want mean comments then you shouldn't be on YouTube. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's don't defend these assholes. You don't have a right to be an asshole just because I place some of my materials online. It's the weirdest way to try to defend this kind of behavior. All kinds of people do this. I get comments from young people, old people, somewhere in the middle people, from black people, white people, males and females and everything in between. Like there is no one type of person who does this, but a majority of the people who feel they have a right to comment on my appearance are men. Women are still not considered human beings in a way. We're still considered something else. Like there's mankind and then there's like the other freaky people with makeup and they're so crazy and their tempers and oh their period pains and their chocolate. <laughs> I want you guys to know, like, when you're out there in the real world, or if you're on an internet and people treat you like this, they talk to you like this, it's never okay. You've not done nothing wrong. All you're doing is being true to yourself, okay? And I could talk about this forever, because this is a big, important subject. And I'm running out of time because I can't post, like, the longest video in the history of humankind. But if you want to talk to me about this some more, if you have like your own example that you want to share with me or ask some advice or interest me with your own experiences, then feel free to do so. If you don't want to do it in the comments below, which is totally fine, then you can chat me up on Facebook and you go to facebook.com slash the Tasmania page. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which I'm sure all you guys know by now, where I'm known as Tasmania TV as well. I always respond to direct messages on Facebook unless you're just an asshole trying to troll me or you're trying to like pick me up or something. That's not what my page is about. That's really weird and kind of gross and disturbing. Yeah, every single person that wants to ask my advice or wants to share their story or whatever it is, I try to get back to you guys. And 
if I don't do it right away, that's because I'm really, really busy, so I don't want you to take it personally, okay? You guys are really important to me, and it's important that you guys are happy, that you feel like you have a right to be yourselves, because you do! Don't let the assholes get you down. It pisses me off so bad to see these people, like, they don't deserve to take up the space on your channel, in your life. They don't. Your life should be all about you and the way you want things, okay? Stay awesome, guys. I love you. See you next time.